Are you a tarot reader who wants to create your passion, your passion of tarot into a full time profession of a tarot business? Would you like to know what are the steps? What are the five basic steps that you should be doing? Hi, I am Preeti and you are watching this video on how to create a nice and booming tarot business. Every huge and successful business begins with small, tiny, sure steps. So we are going to discuss five simple steps that you need to do so that you can create a very, very nice and hugely successful tarot business. So make sure that you watch this entire video till the end to get all the points. Try to note down all the points as I am telling you. Okay, stay tuned. So the first point about how you can make a tarot into your business. See, before you make anything your business, you need to be thousand percent sure that you are confident in that art. Okay, so tarot is an art tarot. You can also call it a science. Once you are thousand percent sure about your, your, yeah, your skills with tarot, once you are very sure with uh, readings, once you know yourself in and out, what kind of readings you can do best, how uh, when you are at your best, when you are not at your best, all of that you will be able to know only when you practice a lot. So once you have done like tons and tons of readings in practice, then you will be able to be sure that you are ready to take the next step of making this into your profession. The step two of this is you need to decide whether you want to create an online business or an offline business. Now a lot of people I know they say oh I want both. See you cannot have like you cannot have everything in this world. You need to boil it down whether you want to have an online business or you would like to have an offline business where you can set up an office where people can come and drop into your office. So now you have decided, let's say you have decided whether you want an online business or offline business. The third thing is you need to start sharing your knowledge. You need to start sharing your knowledge. You can share it through your blog, through your podcast or through videos, through your vlogs. Okay. You can do that and when you do that, people will start getting awareness from the free stuff that you are sharing. The step number four is where you need to decide what is it that you are going to charge, how much you are going to charge for your readings. So see, yeah, even I have gone the path where I have done free readings, but I know this that people don't value free stuff. I have like experienced this like a tons and tons of times. So finally, I just decided that I need to put charges for my readings. Plus, if you are giving some advice where people can change their life, people will not follow that advice until they have prayed a good they have paid a good price for it but if people have not paid a price they will still be happily doing something that is just spoiling their life so how much can you charge charges are something that you need to decide based on your city location what is your city like is it a huge city is it a small city because based on the economy level of your city, based on how much is the economy level of your city, how much are the charges of different 
things, different stuff in your city. Based on that, you need to set up your charges. For example, if like dinner for four people, okay, dinner for four people is costing uh, is costing like fifty dollars in your city. So then your readings should start from fifty dollars because if somebody can just go and spend fifty dollars on dinner, okay, that's just a one-time dinner, but if they spend if they can spend that much fifty dollars on their dining why can't they spend that fifty dollars and spending on something on spending on a service that is going to give them life transforming advice so definitely that thing is going to be worth for them so charge as much as yeah what is the cost of the dinner for four people or going for a movie for four people okay how much people spend on a movie or a dinner that is how much you need to charge them for a sitting for a sitting of tarot reading the step five is eat drink and repeat what does that mean eat drink and repeat is these are the steps I told you these are like very basic steps These are like very simple steps but you need to do them consistently okay a lot of people you know when they begin when they start doing a business they are like super charged up oh yes you know business business and they will like they will do such so much stuff like for two to three months and then they will get tired and then they will stop doing it then they'll say oh it's so difficult that is not how you need to uh, build up your tarot business see any business does not work if you have a lot of talent though you have a lot of talent though you have a lot of mastery in your skill though you may have a lot of desire that you want to make your business successful the thing that actually works is your commitment to your business see so many people in this world you see that they are not that bad that big that talented they are not that intelligent but yet their business is hugely successful the thing is because they can stay committed to their business they can stay committed to their dream this is what you also need to do you need to stay committed to your dreams you need to stay committed that you want your tarot business to like be booming to be growing on a huge level and what can you do for that do all the five steps consistently Keep on doing that. Eat, drink, repeat. Keep on doing all the five steps over and over. Okay? That's the simple thing. That's the simple drill. Okay? So yeah. So this is the video for today. If you are a tarot reader, let me know in the comments how did you like this video and try to share this video with as many tarot readers, as many spiritual people who want to make their business into like a huge hugely successful business try to share this video with those people okay and if you have liked this video hit the like button if you feel that this video will help like a lot of people share this video with as many people as you can i will see you again in my next video until then keep following the path of your soul's purpose because you are born for a reason thank you so much for watching Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. When you click on the bell icon, select all notifications so that you get notified about all the videos that I upload.